Principle 17 is transition time. In your life, you will always be paid for the value of your contribution. And if you want to earn more, you must learn more. The most successful people in their fields are constantly taking in new information, learning more, taking every opportunity to keep up with their field and advance their knowledge. The rate of knowledge increasing in every field is going up and 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 up. Whatever you're doing, your knowledge in that field has to be increasing constantly, exponentially. This can be done by learning, absorbing, taking notes, applying, and pretty soon, you're going to be learning so fast and you won't be able to explain all the shit that you are consciously able to take in. You must take an hour, I would recommend two, every day investing in your own mind, reading, listening to an audiobook, studying, taking notes. If you're doing less than an hour, you're falling behind. If you're doing more than an hour, you put yourself on the side of the angels. Now, how do you find this time, this block of transition time for personal growth? One way is when you're driving. The average American spends 290 hours driving every year. That's 36 full eight hour work days. That's seven full 40 hour work weeks. That's a month and a half of work weeks. The average person just listens to the fucking radio all the time. You can become one of the most educated, up-to-date people in your profession just listening to audiobooks to and from work. Another great way to find transition time is breaks. The average American spends 30 minutes a day on break at work. 30 minutes a day is 150 minutes a work week. 150 minutes a work week is 10 hours a month. That's five full days a year on break. What does that mean? That means that if you spend this time during work learning about one subject for an entire year, by the end of the year, you will be an expert on that subject. Find a topic and stick with it. Be it time management, email marketing, personal communication, social networking. If you spend coffee or smoke breaks 15 minutes in the morning in the afternoon, you could double your income in a year. And most people sit around during break watching fucking panda videos and they don't realize that life is passing them by. The average person spends 30 minutes at lunch every day. That's the same thing as normal breaks. If you spend coffee, smoke, and lunch breaks reading about the same topic, you will become one of the most educated people in society within three to five years. The average person wastes this time. So keep current. Use these little transitions. Use these little gifts of time. As long as you have a couple of minutes of time, use it to learn. You can do anything you want with these little gifts of time. High performers use them as though they are precious, but low performers do not. Something I found helpful for learning is when I listen to audiobooks or watch self-educational YouTube videos. I watch it at twice the speed. Audiobooks I listen to at 2.5 to 3 times the speed, if the content is easy enough for me to digest. Nobody just kind of starts like that. If 2 times is too much, I recommend starting at 1 and working your way up. Many people argue that your ability to retain the information will not be as sharp and the percentage retained won't be as high. They'll say that listening to books in general is the same case in comparison to reading. And this is true, but when you have a load of things to do that you can do without any actual conscious thinking, let the subconscious do the physical work, let the audiobook do the mental work, and you will be passively learning, letting your mind absorb these ideas. And you can use them to contribute further to the quicker accomplishment of your goals. That was Principle 17. Principle 18 can be found right here, and I will see you there.